Today, we're only eating at Mexican markets for the next 24 hours. Vamanos, let's go. Someone's gotta tell me why Mexican markets are way nicer than American markets. This place is stacked and loaded. It's like a Walmart and a Ralph's put together. This place is amazing. You gotta get some Mexican food. Have a great day. <laughs> we getting lit here. <laughs> so when it comes to Mexican food, I feel like this market has the best Mexican food. So what are we feeling for breakfast, Jake? Chilaquiles, breakfast burrito. The chilaquiles looks amazing. I mean, they only got, they got pork ribs. They got like three things on their breakfast menu. Yeah, they got eggs any style. They got chilaquiles and they got breakfast but burrito. But they also have like a cafeteria. Taqueria. Taqueria. They have all this stuff. Oh like you can come in here and just pick it up. You know, we got lunch, we got dinner. Damn, these, oh my those God. look better than the ones at Ralph's. That's what I'm saying. Mexicans just do things better, fool. Okay, yeah, this ain't, yeah. This ain't breakfast food, man. I got a whole day of eating this market, so we'll come back to this later today. Let's stick with the breakfast menu. So what are you gonna get? I don't know, man. I know you're probably feeling those chilaquiles, and I'm feeling a breakfast burrito, so I'm thinking half and half, fool. We got it, we got it, we eat and enjoy. I don't know how you got a chilaquile. You eat half, fool, and you pass the other but half. But you can't cut. You can't cut, pero. I'm also thinking behind us, we got fresh smoothies. Check that out. Smoothie bar, baby. Yeah, so they, they got a bar for everything. They got a tortilla bar. They got a, They got all the bars. They got all the bars except for the alcohol bar. Oh my God, there's alcohol. Oh. Uh, my elbow. It's a funny bone. It's, it's no so funny. funny. It's no funny. <laughs> I feel like a lot of Latinos got just mustaches. Yeah, you see my homes? I see yours full, look at it. I think I gotta shave this when I get home. I want a mustache for lunch. Good to see you, brother. I'm gonna do, uh, we're gonna get the chilaquiles, green salsa, and then uh, a breakfast burrito. Fertilized. Just kidding. <laughs> He's like, okay, I got this. Let me go handle this one in the back. <laughs> <laughs> that's it for right here. Yeah, all of that's fine. Amazing. What is that thing called? What do you want? You want to try this thing, right? Yeah, yeah. I want to try this pork crackling. Chicharron carnudo. I don't even know what it is, bro. Is it like a rib? Is there meat in it? I don't know. We're going to find out, though. Carnudo is like carne, right? I think. Yeah, I well, know. I'm just going off of what things sound like here. I'm only half Mexican. I only speak un poquito, pero I try. Yo trato. All right, fool. So when it comes to smoothies, what are you feeling like? I don't know. They got some crazy ones over there. I want like the the, the vampiro. Oh. The vampiro. 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 It's beet, beet, celery, orange, carrot, parsley, apple, and spinach. I kind of want the energy. The though. energy kind of sounded or right. Like the vitamin C. Right, because they got a juicer and everything to juice the, the celery, the greens. Greens, beans, apples, bananas. Well, I remember that. What was it? Yes. Greens, beans, potatoes, you know. Greens, beans, oh, potatoes. <laughs> oh, damn. The way you shook that shit, man, it got me questioning Dude, my own. Dude, you should have seen the one in the front shaking, too. <laughs> bounce, 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 bounce. We got a sensor, fool. The females don't got the front and the back. Yeah, they only got the back. They only got the back. Only some of them got the back, too. <laughs> some of them got the front, too. <laughs> some Jamaica, pineapple. You're stuffing it all in there. Some celery. Yeah, you don't want to make her mash. You're going to shove your pito in there. Hey, fool, calm down. Why is the celery coming out red, though? That's my question. The, the beets. Oh, fool. <laughs> Did someone say beets? <laughs> okay, can I do the vitamin C juice? Just a uh, medium. $9.30 for a uh, juice. Thank you. Thank you very much, you too. All right, we got it. Look at this. This thing has got to be at least up two pounds, three pounds. This thing is girthy. Oh, baby. Actually, I, I said she was really good at rapping, but I might have misjudged. You might I need a fork in there. Yeah, this might be a wet burrito now, but hey, you know me, that ain't gonna stop me. Should I chop it? No, just wrap up half and then pull That's it down. That's true. So first meal of the day, we got a burrito and some chilequiles. Heavy let's, protein. Let's go for it, my boy. This thing said 1,400 calories. I literally only eat 2,000 a day, so it's a cheat day. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, man. This is not real. This is nuts. Although it would have been fire if there would have been carne asada in this one, we had to just run it with the way that it was because it would have turned it not into a breakfast burrito. It is what it is. And this is like different than chilaquiles I've had before, but it's so good. The chips aren't like put it in there. Yeah, they're not really like uh, underneath. Chilaquiles is kind of like almost like a nacho plate, if you will, mm -hmm. with eggs, you know, it's got its green salsa, it's got its rice, its beans. It's all mixed together usually. This is in kind of like a separate little portion box, which is good because it keeps the chips from getting Soggy. Yeah, I did realize this white stuff, was that the stuff that you told him to ferment the eggs with? I told him to fertilize. I didn't think it was gonna take it seriously. It tastes good. <laughs> 
Check this out. Hamon. Hamon is fire. I'm not usually a big pork guy, but you know the next thing we got, I think it's pork. I'm in love with this burrito. The next thing we got is a chicharron carnudo. Never had one of those before, but it looked interesting when I was looking at it. So let's check this out. Kind of looks a little intimidating. Ooh, it kind of smells through the bag. Mm. I don't know about, mm, I'm thinking, ooh, that's what my thought process was, but here we go, here goes nothing. We're unraveling this thing. They got really wrapped this thing up like a Christmas present, to be honest. Good lord, okay, here we go. Look at this thing, you guys. This thing right here is deep fried. It almost looks like a deep fried rib. Wait, you should try to bend it. Is there a bone in there? No, it's it's not. You can eat this whole thing. Go for wow, it. Wow, I don't bro. know if you put like salsa on that, though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dip it in some uh, salsa verde. Can't go wrong with some salsa verde on anything. Oh man, wow. I don't know if you're supposed to eat this meal part. <laughs> That's tough. Which part? Whatever is in the middle right here. Probably not. Actually, it was way tough. It was That's like, like the cartilage. The cartilage, yeah. Uh, on this sign, it does say, uh, oh, pedro, like for dog. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't. Damn, okay. I'm not gonna lie to you guys right now. This is actually really tasty. I, I thought it was gonna be dry and not good, but damn. There's some juices in here. It might all be just oil and grease and fat, but hey, everybody loves a little fat in their life. You know Last what I mean? but not least, some vitamin C. Oh, is that, wait, wait, you gotta stir that up. Look at it. And you made me wait 25 fucking Look minutes. at that, that just changed colors. How was that? Let me know. Oh, I almost finished it in one gulp. Oh, maybe you eat the whole thing. Interesting, huh? Oh, I'll give it a go. It's really tough though. It's like eating like dried up beef jerky. Yeah. Like real tough. Almost like eating plastic, soft plastic. I feel like you're supposed to like chop it up and like make like a soup out of it. Maybe, because it's tough. I might choke on this thing. Um, if you didn't have a jawline before, you don't have one after, my man. All right, so you guys have seen breakfast. Now it's time for us to get out of here, get showered up, get ready for the day, and I'll see you guys back at lunchtime. Come on. All right, so I just got out of the shower, and you guys saw when we were at that market, everybody had mustaches. I know I have a mustache right now, but I kind of have a whole goatee going on. We're getting rid of the goatee. Hey, fool. It's Hulk Hogan. That's kind of a look in a weird way. I don't think I'd ever rock this look, but hey. I'm feeling more Mexicano now. I feel, I feel good, fool. You come to me when you need me the most, and you refer to me as your abuelo, as your tío, as your hermano. Orale. Okay, look, we're rocking the mustache today. I like it because it's one, it's Mexicano, and two, it's country vibe. And I'm a country boy now. You guys already know I'm moving to Nashville. Just so you can see. I mean, it's still a little bit there, but hey, fool, I look cute. I look cute. Do you think I look cute? Let me know in the comments if I look cute, fool. Or should I leave the beard next time, fool? Let me know. Rest in peace, beard. R.I.P. Hasta luego, fool. All right, but now it's almost lunchtime, so I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna get cleaned up, and uh, we'll get on out there with my mama. It's like 100 degrees here in California. Way too hot to even be wearing my favorite shirt, so we're gonna customize it. Well, let's do this. And bada bing, bada boom, we got a muscle tank now. Pick something up, brandtaylor.com, customize it yourself, or leave a little comment and I'll customize your order for you. Hopefully I don't mess it up, but let's see how it looks. Okay, I mean, I don't have a mirror to look, but it feels good. Got enough off the sides, you know? Just enough to show a little bit of the lat, but not too much where I show some rib cage. All right, now let's go get some food. I'm ready, I'm hungry. Okay, so I just got to my mom's house. Let's get her reaction on the new stash. All right, my face is covered right now. Are you ready? Hi. Are you ready? What do you think? You just need a sombrero now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you like it? It looks cute. Oh so, my gosh. I'm trying here, y'all. I'm becoming a Mexicano. Orale, wait. Vamonos, you ready? Let's go. All right, so we got one approval from my mom. Let's see what Jake thinks about it since he's the stash guy himself. You ready for this? Oh. Give me your reaction. Hey, mustache. You like it, fool? Yeah. Hey, fool, mustache bros! Mustache bros! All right, let's go. It's lunchtime. We're back at the Vallartas, here with my mom this time. Let's see what we're getting for lunch, ma. Yeah, I thought we were going to a restaurant. <laughs> they got restaurants in here. Huh? This place is no joke. Look at it. All right, they wow. got They got it all. Man, I feel like a kid at a, at a candy store here. Wow, huh? This is something else, isn't wow, it? Wow, they pretty much have for all different. Exactly. See, us Mexicans, we cover every, oh shoot, look at this. Tamales. Ooh, oh. 
I haven't had a tamale okay. in a long time. Let's get a couple tamales for lunch. I like that idea. <laughs> okay. What kind Mira, do you want? Mira, un tamale bag. I want uh, chicken and green sauce. Chicken and green, and then is there a meat one? Oh, res con salsa rojo, roja. Oh wow, look at this, y'all. Just come in here. Oh my God, they're fresh, they're warm, they're hot. Who else wants one? I want a sweet corn. Okay. Here's the corn. Now this is the meat. I mean the meat. Do you speak Spanish, man? Because si. it doesn't seem like it. Que hable español? Si, okay. un poquito. Okay. It was in English. She, read it she wrong. still read it wrong. She this one was corn. <laughs> I had one of those earlier, mom. A chicharrón carnudo. Oh, yeah, those are good. It's okay, it was very crunchy, chamarón. <laughs> okay, ¿qué vamos a comer? Tortas? Okay. Ah, no, que tortas. No, no, no me gusta tortas uh, para un. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice lunch? Para lunch. Para lunch. Sí. A lo mejor me haces tamales. Ay. Un día, me los haces todos. Oh, that's how you make them, she's saying. Sí. See, guys, if you don't speak Spanish, don't worry because I don't either, but I can kind of translate a little. Okay, I think we should get some kind of fish. Like maybe some ceviche or tostadas, todos. Wow, do you oh. think ceviche will be good here? Of course, mom, I mean, trust I'm me. I'm like a seafood No, 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 restaurant. trust me, this is a freaking seafood market. Let's see. Okay, should we get a couple different ones or just one? I say we get either the shrimp. These ones look pretty nice. Okay, can we get a, uh, the small bowl of the butterfly shrimp ceviche? Is there butterflies in the shrimp as well? Yeah. Nice. There are a couple of butterflies? Awesome. I love the monarch ones. They hit different. <laughs> How do you say less less juice? Uh, no, no mucho jugo. Por favor, gracias. And then spicy, spicy shrimp? shrimp? We yeah. already got shrimp. What about a fish one? Okay. Spicy fish? Spicy fish. Or oh, like you think it. shrimp's better, guys? Right, okay, shrimp. let's stick with the shrimp, okay? Can we get a large one on that one? You've had that one before, haven't oh, you? Hell yeah. <laughs> hey, man, don't say hell, okay? We gotta start changing our word and our verbiage here. We're, we're God believers here. Actually, Christians don't do that. I, I shouldn't do that. <laughs> That's a Catholic thing. I gotta stop Get it that. Straight, I used to be right? a Catholic. I was born a Catholic, Get but I'm a born straight. again Christian, okay? A born again. I'm a born again virgin as well. Ladies, hit me up. Despera you know I'm a virgin. Desperado. Desperado. No can desperado. Me da uno de camarón, por favor. Uno grande. Uno grande, más grande. Gracias. See, good thing we bring her around because certain people at the store do not speak English at all. But I, you know, you can't you can't discriminate because this is a Latino-based market, fool. Supermercado de Mexicanos. Look, it, we can get full on mussels here. That looks like something else, man. That looks like something else. Octopus, un pulpo, baby octopus, pulpo de pequeño. That's 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 messed up. That's there. messed up. They didn't just kill the mom and the dad. They killed the babies too. That's like Anakin Skywalker in Episode Two when he said, the women, "Get the women and, and the, the children, children too. too." When they kept his mom handcuffed at the camps of the Tusken Raiders. Big Star Wars fan. Obviously, we're at this market to eat good. But when we're eating good, you need something to wash it down. So I'm thinking Pacificos, fool. You guys like that idea? Yes, fool. Yes, fool. All right. Okay, but what are they fool? Look at these beer glasses. Oh, está bien. These are nice, you guys. That's called a cantarito. A cantarito. All right, so now you can't have ceviche without chips, without tostadas. I mean, unless you want to just eat it plain on your keto diet, but we ain't. Let's get it checked out and let's go home and eat this stuff. Lunch is a little bit more expensive than breakfast, but whatever, we're sending it today. Cervezas for the tailors. Cheers. Cheers. There's nothing better on a hot day. Oh, we just cleaned the house too. Dang, man. Dang. Oh, the second layer. These are some fat ones. Oh, oh my, God. my. Look how. Ah, dang. That look, nice little head on it over here. I will say one thing. It's not fat in mine. Everything's fatter than mine. Chicken? Yeah, this is oily, fool. Look yeah. at that. Oh, yeah. it's about its drip. That's that lard. Yeah. Is that lard for real? Yeah. Oh, so that's why sorry. they say Mexican food isn't good for you. Right? That's why? Makes a lot of sense now. Oh, man. My mama got the biggest tapatillo they sell in the stores. They don't mess around here. Clearly. All right, I'm going to dive into mine. I can't wait for you to drop everything. All right, guys. We're going for it. Oh, dang. You're just eating it like it's a burrito, huh? Mm. Let's see how good I can't find this chicken. Mexican market tamale is. Mmm. Oh, man. The only time I've ever had tamales was like when someone buys it from the Latina at work that's packaging them up and selling them to her coworkers. Mm. The chicken this one tastes is, good. is a little dry. I'm try try this meat one. Mm. The meat looks a lot juicier. The meat is juicy. You didn't even have any meat. <laughs> No, that's way better. Way better. I'm trying my corn one. That shit's so well, if good. it's dry, just throw more tapatio on it. Makes it a little spicier and a little more juicy. This is really moist. This is good. The corn what one. did you say? Moist. What did you say? Moist. Ah!
<laughs> Sorry. That word hurts me. Oh yeah, the chicken's not very good. I mean, it's, yeah, it's alright, but it's just not very juicy. Just try my corn, man. This meat one goes crazy. Sorry. Where's the corn? It is corn. Oh, the whole thing is corn? Yes. Masa. Yes. Corn. Sweet oh. corn. Corn masa. Mm. That's oh, bro, fire. Like cornbread. Yeah. Fire. Corn. Exactly. Wow, that is fire. That's, that's good. so good. That's corn a good one dessert win. one. It, yeah. yeah. It's like on Thanksgiving, you yeah. want one of those oh. with your meal. Yeah. Mm. I would take one of those every night. My life's pretty good, not gonna lie. Let's try the ceviche though. So this will run you 15 bucks for this amount. Oh, it smells fire though. And this next one, run you eight dollars for some butterfly shrimp. I don't see any monarchs in there though. That lied to me. <laughs> they flew away. <laughs> All right, let's try it. So my mom loves ceviche. Have you had ceviche from this spot before though? I'm assuming not, because you said, will no. it be good? Well, yeah, no, not from the market. Well, but trust me, this is the place you get it at. I could use a little I lemon. I need lemon. I need something more juicy. We always say less juice because that is what weighs it down. So you end up spending more. But it would be nice if there was a lot more juice in that. So we'll get some limon. Squeeze it down. I can understand why these things are priced the way they are. Look how big these freaking shrimp are. You guys just saw the shrimp that was in the other one. Look at the shrimp here. No joke, no cap, no <clears> kizzy. <throat> Let's give it a taste. Wait, what do you think the flavor is going to be? I have no idea. I don't know. I feel like I a never... salsa verde there mixed with shrimp is what I'm assuming. It's lemony. That's pretty good. That's pretty good though. I'm gonna try one on its own. It's very salty. The, the chip is really salty. Yeah, That's you bought the salty chips. No, they're all salty. I don't know. Those chips are very salty though. These are really good. Just a little too much salt. Oh, Jake's gonna do it. Look at that. Look at oh, that. Oh, that looks guys. good. Dang, Jake knows what he's talking about. This is this ain't Jake's okay, that, rodeo. That's a lot of. Well, oh, get in the frame and try that, fool. Oh, fool. Oh, fool. Mm. Good. I'm gonna go a little spicy spicy on them. Spicy spicy? Mm. Caliente, caliente. All right, my turn, guys. When someone eats their food and they say amen, you know I gotta dig in and try it the same way because I'm the Lord's son. Mm. Oh my God. This tastes like the Lord just came down and gave me a little pat on the back and said, good job, son. I'm proud of you. You know how good that tastes? Really good. I never actually got to experience that as a child, so it's amazing to have my oh, father up there. What? Well, what? Having a father. Oh. Yeah. You had a mother father. I <laughs> the lemon makes all the difference. For real. But look, lunch served. Delicious. Great. So far, so good. I guess we'll check back when dinner time comes around and we'll see what we're eating next at this Mexican market. A few hours later. Our third time at this Mexican market today. I am bloated like a mofo, but let's get in there and let's get some dinner. Come on. Same place, different time. Sheesh. And these people inside are gonna be like, something wrong with y'all? Like eating this this much food here? We're Mexican, we we're, can do what we want. Yeah, we're not called Mexicans, we're Mexicans. And what we can do is eat at this Mexican market multiple times a day. So this place has all the desserts, look how good. All this, oh my God, what the hell is this? All right, this is for Brennan right here. We gotta get this. What is it, man? Oh, this is for you, for pride, right? No, I just said it's for you. Come on, man, we gotta get it for you, for pride. <laughs> it's for you. It's for your personality, man. <laughs> No, I really want this one instead. Oh, Let's, one of these? Should we get the colorful one? I, I like the classic white, but... We need a thumbnail, we though, need so a that's thumbnail. a good thumbnail. But that white one, though. Okay, fine. Get the pink, get the pink, get the pink. I gotta put it on a flat surface. That's crazy. They're making them that big? When I was a kid, they were just little ones. Little bundles. Oh, they still make those? Okay. I was thinking, like, America, you know, we bulking up in America. So the thing about the Latino culture, they sell everything because they eat everything. If you just take a look at all this stuff, like, it is insane. Smoked ham cock. Hawk. Look, you could buy a whole turkey leg, like, at Universal Studios. What else they got here? Little chicken tendies, chicken patties. They got some wild stuff. Beef cheeks. <laughs> Bam! You gonna eat kidney? Like the liver king? I don't even know what like beef so at this is. But literally endless. The whole part of the cow. Anything you want, you can get a neck right here. Neck bone. Yo. Completely Yo. insane. What is this? I'm so intrigued. So intrigued. Okay, if we do decide to cook, I don't know if we're gonna. We got two options here. Beef liver, 
like the liver king himself. I just said that over there. Or beef guts. Literally, beef marrow guts. Do you see what's next to us? That's a tongue. Man. A whole tongue. That's a good time if you a lady, for real. Okay, so check this out. We are in the Vallartas right now, which is the Mexican supermarket, and I see they got a sushi roll here called the Vallarta roll. Does that count? That counts. I mean, it counts, right? Let's see if there's anything else here. Look, they got flaming Hot Crunch with oh, flaming Hot Cheetos get on that. there. that. We're eating sushi for dinner at Oh Mexican my God, restaurant. okay, but we also gotta get some more Mexican food too, okay? We're gonna get this though. Yeah, that's it, get okay. those two. So we're gonna get these two as a little appetizer, and let's keep looking. From high oh, school, peach yeah. rings chamoy. Okay, fool, well, I be seeing some people selling these on TikTok live stream. They're making them now. Nowadays. This was a high school thing. Like, if you needed some quick cash, you make it with some Gatorade, some chamoy, and you sell them to your homies at school in a little Ziploc bag. I think for the culture, we get one. So I'm checking out their meal plates here. Things that I'm that are calling out my name: the three tacos, the chicken quesadilla, and those pork ribs. I don't know why they just look kind of good. So let's send it. We already got a lot of stuff. What's a little bit more, right? Yeah. Hello. Uh, can I get the three tacos? One carne asada. Where are the meats at? You're gonna have to say that all <laughs> over again, but a little slower. No, 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 wait, okay, I got no, Just do a, a li one lingua, yeah. one carne asada. One buche. And, oh. and one puce. Buche, buche. Oh, no, what is that? Buche. Oh, I thought it was puce. <laughs> God. I don't know if I want buche. I wanted some puce. <laughs> yeah, uh, everything. Yeah, 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 todos. And then uh, we want also pork ribs and salsa verde, please. And also fried beans, rice, and tortillas. Yes. Yeah, and then you want to do the chicken quesadilla or something? Oh, yeah, like? and then did I say a chicken quesadilla already? No. Okay, also a chicken quesadilla. And that's all. Anything else? No, thank you. Alrighty. We spent like $100 here today. Take my money, man. Take it. Please don't decline. Okay, we approved. We good. We still got a little bit of cash left. <laughs> I, I worry sometimes, you know? <laughs> Perfect. Thank, Thank you. you. So we're getting a lot of food. We're going to need something to wash that down, and I can't drink any more beer today. It's really starting to hit my belly. So I'm thinking like an horchata. You know, me, I feel I can't dismiss a good horchata. And the food here, it hasn't been disappointed yet. So why not try a good old fashioned horchata? Where are they? Because I don't see it. Oh no, please tell me it wasn't right here. Please no, because I'm not seeing it anymore. Oh. Thank the heaven. Hey, my man again. We're back with David, you guys. We're back here again. All right, let me get an horchata. I'll do a medium horchata. And then what, what's another good one? What do you suggest? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna, you said you love the pineapple? All right, let's send a pineapple. Yeah. We're doing a video 24 hours only eating at the Mexican market today. And you guys had some good food, man. I love the food. I might, I might come back tomorrow again. Not even film it, just to have and enjoy. <laughs> Actually, instead of the pineapple, I want the, oh yeah, that's fine, just do it. I was gonna say the banana. Yeah, might be good. How do you even get the juice out of a banana? Okay, all right. My brother's lactose intolerant, but we're not gonna tell him all that. <laughs> all right, we're running selfie cam. We're gonna do a little taste test because I am parched. So that one's banana. It has like strawberry accents, he said to it. Let's try it. You guys know I love a good horchata. Wow. Oh, I seriously could have kept chugging. Ooh. This one's subtle, but this one's like a, like a protein is, shake. Right. Throw some whey protein in there. You oh. fire. You want to taste? Oh, she came in the shot. I thought maybe she wanted yeah. a little sip of sip. Man, okay, I'm sticking with the horchata, but wait, food's coming, so let's enjoy. <laughs> so before we start eating, I want you guys to add me up on my Snapchat. We're basically doing daily vlogs on the Snapchat, all the BTS of every single video we film at the moment that we're filming it. So add me up, at Brennan Taylor. There's my QR code. My link is down below. Hit me up. Jake's got a snap too. I'll shout him out if you check me out. We have a feast. This is the grand finale right here. We got a little bit of everything. We got sushi, we got quesadillas, we got tacos, we got pork ribs, we got we got panduce, we got gummy worms and chamoy. We are going crazy tonight, not to mention our drinks. What should we start with? You said sushi as an appetizer. Okay, sushi as an appetizer. Let's close these up, keep them warm. And we're not gonna eat all this. Yeah. We're gonna end up giving it to a nice man that's down the street. He's always asking for some extras, so we're gonna hook him up. What's this one called? This one's the uh, Vallarta roll. And mine's like the hot Cheeto roll, has jalapenos. It's just a California roll with jalapeno seeds all over it. Interesting. So it looks like it's gonna... It's gonna be a spicy one. I don't even know what kind of fish is on here, to be honest. I don't even know if this is fish, to be honest. I see some salmon on the inside, so. We got spicy mayo on here. Yeah, okay, I feel like this has been sitting here. Yeah, it's day. been sitting here a while. It's a little stiff. Ooh, it's 
spicy, but not bad. It has been sitting. It's refrigerated rice, so it's been sitting for a minute, but it's not horrible. I mean, I did see it this morning when we went for breakfast. You're telling me this now? You couldn't have saved me $20? Was by that telling much money? Mm-hmm. It's not Erwan. <laughs> Pretty good. Let me try one of those. Not bad. You guys know what happens to hot Cheeto dust after a while. It becomes just like nothing. You gotta have a jalapeno on it. Not bad. I honestly feel like this one's a little spicier than the actual spicy roll. I'm not a huge fan. I thought the sushi rolls was gonna be something cool because they were Mexican sushi rolls, but they're just basic. They're not basic. very good. I was expecting some like beans in there. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, let's pull out the real Mexican dishes here, okay? First one we're opening up is the quesadilla. So let's start with the quesadilla and we'll work our way down. I'll we'll grab this fatty down here. So we paid a little extra to get some chicken in there. I was expecting some guacamole to come on the side. All they did is splatter some freaking sour cream all over it, which I'm not, I don't hate. I, I like it a little. Like a Baja Fresh. Kind of bland. Kind of bland, man. This this is, um, bland. I was like, mm, that's whack. The cheese is whack. It needs different cheese. Even the chicken isn't very juicy at all. Chicken's kind of dry. It's like it's been sitting there all day. I, I think that's the problem because it sits there. You need to order stuff like we did like today. In the like, morning. When we had it in the morning, it was freshly made. So it was like so good. And then when it comes down to like what we had for lunch, I mean, it wasn't, you know, like fish. It's fish, you know. This has been sitting for a while. You can definitely tell. Definitely Flavor tell. is not there. I'm disappointed. What the heck are those bugs on there? Yeah. There's a lot of bugs on this table we're sitting on. Okay, so this one does look a little bit promising because it is sitting in the salsa verde all day that I feel like it would almost soak up the flavor even more. So this one I have some hope for. Should've got some napganos, huh? I just don't like to eat things that have bones in it. Yeah, me either, but I like it because then you get to suck the bone out and you sp a little spit action at the end. Here we go, the napganos. We got just like that. <laughs> I don't like this one That's either. actually pretty good. I like that one. The pork itself is a little bit dry, but all the flavorings around it are really good. See, I don't like the flavors around it. Really? We got interesting taste buds. I can go for one more of these. We gotta be careful though, because that bone just popped out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> the pork is giving me the remnants of what we had earlier, the chicharron. Uh -huh. It's very, it's stiff, it's very dense. Well, they probably just fry that, and the next day when they don't use it the day before, they make it into chicharron. Yeah, you know, everything that they don't use, they fry it up and they sell it the next day as chicharron. Uh, car what was it? Carnudo? Carnudo. So far, what would you rate this one? Three. I'll give it like a four. Yeah, but it wasn't great, but it wasn't horrible. Like, I've definitely no. had worse things in my life before. But like, I'm just mad that that first meal was so dang. Yeah, that first real <laughs> meal really put this place on a pedestal, and then now we're getting the rude awakening that it might yeah. not be as good as we thought. It also could have been the chef. I don't it's know. It's probably the same chef. He cooked it earlier. So this one, I have hope for, okay? Because like, how can you go wrong on these little tacos? You know what I mean? You want that one when you... No, you know, yeah, that's yours. Is that the puche? Yeah, yeah, you eat that one. It looks like puche lips, if I'm <laughs> asking. <laughs> I'm eating tongue right now. And I'm eating, I don't know what part of animal this is. Mm, I'm very fatty. This is just fat. You want some tongue? Oh, the buche? I'm gonna say no way. That's literally just fat and skin. It's not supposed to be. What the hell is that, man? It's throat. Oh yeah, that was the esophagus. Oh, I don't man. know, I'm not a fan of this place anymore. I, I'm getting a rude awakening, guys. Wait a second. Oh no, Jake, the beans are hitting me. <laughs> You're nasty. <laughs> Last little hope to this carne asada. Can this one save the day here? That's what I'm hoping for, because I'm not really impressed with this whole dinner, but I'm still gonna eat a little bit more after, because I need to fill myself up for the night, because I got no money left to spend. That was my week's spend right there. Yeah, today. Mm. Oh. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> it literally got stuck. That is the driest carne asada I've ever had. That's like going into an old home, flirting it up with one of the women, trying to get crazy with her. Uh-uh, dry. <laughs> That's what that was like, bro. Oh, that was horrible. That was probably the worst carne asada I've ever had in my life. This is pitiful. This could possibly be good. This should be. Oh my God. <laughs> I never bought them from the kids. Really? I would always buy them. They'd usually be gummy bears, though. I never, never bought the them. They always sussed me out. I was like, what if they're putting like crack cocaine in there? That's why I bought them. I paid <laughs> extra. And I was like, damn it. There's no crack cocaine in this. These are fire. Those are dangerous. Mm, with a little, the chamoy, I think there's a little tahini in there. Makes it a little bit spicy. Mm. Oh. This makes me, mm. the chamoy is the, the finger licking good. It makes me want to dance. Oh, let's dance. Oh my God. Oh, someone's talking. <gasps> Who was that? Some all right, I want to take this whole thing out. It's so huge. Oh my God. This is probably the ginormous thing I've ever seen. All right, Papo. We're going to go for the world's longest. Papo, we're going to go. I like calling you Papo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're going to go for the world's largest pan dulce. And Jake and I are going to both do it like Lady in the Tramp. Here we go. Oh my 
Oh, oh my god. That's better than the small ones. That's better. <laughs> I always love the small ones because I love the frosting on top. Uh, whatever that is, the powdered sugar. But when it's big, there's so much more of that. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is so good. Oh baby. Papo, papo. Oh, papo. The rats are gonna be coming through this area tonight. <laughs> They're gonna be eating good. That is 10 10. This, this is the best thing I've eaten all day. Mm, with the shot that I wash it down. <laughs> this brings me my heydays. We used to eat like two of these a day. Mm -hmm. They didn't make these big ones. No, Because no, no, no. if they did, I would have one of these instead. Oh my God, that's heaven. Mm -hmm. I can sit in my room with like a fork and knife and eat that. <gasps> the only bad thing about it is it's very messy. Every time you take a bite, it spills, it rains on you. But damn, okay, one more bite and then I'm done. I'm done. It's like those kids in high school with dandruff. That, that's, like, <laughs> that's like us. Hey, yeah, like, yeah, oh. yo, say you, fool. I don't got that. <gasps> say that for later. Oh, man. Oh, game over. Game over. Mm, that's finger licking good. Oh, I should have washed my hands before. Oh, that's the guy. Sir, do you want do you want some of our leftovers? There's a whole bunch of different stuff. Here. Here, let's go give it to him. You want you want bandose too? Here, bro. Enjoy. The kid in me is coming out. I have to ride the slide. Woo! Dang, this thing got hyper speed. So there you have it. Eating at a Mexican market for 24 hours. Did you guys like the video? Hit the like and show me. Pick up the merch, BrandonTay.com, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace.